the oldest man in Ileife have reached out to the owner saying that he have lived this long because um because he had people who were supportive around him and peace of mind so that is why he will, he has been able to live this long and if the owner really really wants peace of mind and he aims at living long then he should consider the fact that even anybody he loses it is not an issue he should not be scared of losing anyone at all he should embrace the fact that sometimes you ought to be alone and as a king the reason why sometimes the you know sometimes they will say that you have to go in a seclusion period is simply because what you need you need an alone moment yes you need an alone moment so that you can think you need that alone moment so that you can you know brood over matters think over all of these things and decide which one it is that you want for yourself so he should not be scared of losing anybody in his life because technically speaking his wives are proving to him that okay well, we are the set of persons that you cannot lose you can't do without us and he should remember that those are the people that he ought to do without them because right now if those women keep telling him day after day that you can't do without us you can't do without us then technically he is being tied to them and the more he is being tied to them there is a sense of entitlement the more there is a sense of entitlement the more there are potentialities of him not having a control over what happens in the palace and if the only doesn't have a control over what happens in the palace the whole of Elefe is watching the whole world is watching everybody is watching Yes, because his kingship now has exceeded beyond Ileife. The, the, the president recognizes him. Remy Tinubu always comes to Ileife to see the king and all of those things. There is a recognition. Remember the statue he, he pulled up for Remy Tinubu to honor her and all of those things. There is a lot going on that supersedes just kingship. And he ought to have that peace of mind. This is an elder that I have spoken this is a man that has earned the title of being called the oldest man in Ileife. And if this man can earn this title, then believe me that it is worth it. Yes, the title, it is worth it. Because if you want to say the truth, and if you want to elaborate, this man actually comes out to say the truth. He was the one who said that it is very unfortunate that only got married to a beautiful woman but he picked the best demon in each state to get married to because their characters, their actions are far, far from their appearances. So whereas only go married a beautiful woman to have beautiful kids, but he never checked that path where they are going to give him beautiful moments, beautiful moments of peace, beautiful moments of greatness and all of those things. And right now, it is still the same man who is coming out to tell the only that he has lived this long because he had peace of mind and supportive people around him. And, you know, the most interesting part of what he is telling the only is that only should not be scared of losing anybody. Yes, he should not be scared of losing anybody at all. Because people come in our lives and they go. So when he feels that he is going to keep this person forever, that is where the problem comes. Yes, people come and they go. So he should not be scared. So if it so happens that, okay, it is necessary that all the Oluris leaves, he should not be scared of losing them at any point at all. And you see, when an elder speaks, it comes with wisdom. Yes, it comes with wisdom. And this man has spoken. We hope they only listens to him. Yes, because with every single thing happening in the palace, with every single thing unfolding in the palace, we know that, yes, this woman will come at him and tell him that, hey, you old man, learn to mind your business. We know very well if they can attack only stepmother, then we know very well that attacking this man who is beans to them, a very, very small thing to them. Yes, they will definitely do whatever it is they want to do. But as time goes on, someday, yes, someday, they will get tired of these things because these women are not getting young. And when they get tired of these things, they will definitely regret. They will regret that, ah, God, if only I knew. If only, if only I knew I should not even have indulged in all of this fighting and all of these things. Yes, they are young now, so they feel what they are doing is right. 
they are young, they feel whatsoever it is they are doing. That is what is meant to be done. But the truth still lies in all of these things. And the truth remains that the only will definitely get tired. That's number one. Secondly, the people around, when they get fed up of every single thing that happens day after day, and when all of these things happen, it will become a difficult existence for them. The palace will become too small to contain them. Yes, it will become too small to have them in. And remember that as these things unfold day after day, people are watching you know, On his father, he came out to speak the other day. The man was bittered. Yes, the man was bittered. And you know what he has avoided in years is to end up being that father-in-law that sent his son's wives away. This man has avoided this thing like he has done it so well because he knows what his son's wives are capable of. He knows very well that these women can even drag him when he does nothing. Uh -uh, he knows that one now. They can drag him when he, even when he does nothing. So being careful amidst them has just become a code that everybody ought to pick up. You, know, you see, as we speak right now, ne, hmm, this matter, it don't choke. Yes, it don't choke where where. Because if you want to weigh the options, he's only scared of losing his wives. Then why did he go ahead to put up divorce? Why did he go ahead to, oh, why did he forgive Miriam? When he knew very well that he was already on the winning side, he knew very well that pe Miriam's people were not supporting her. The Miriam's elders, the Ibira elders were not in support of Miriam. The Ibira women were not in support of Miriam until only gave them the room to change the narrative. Miriam now went to tell them something else. Mm. An elder speaks indeed. Yes, an elder speaks indeed. And now that he has spoken, we hope that the only listens. Yes, him listening is a, is a concern here. Him listening is the concern. And, you know, when he actually listens and takes action, it will become, it will become enlightening because with every single thing happening, with every single thing happening, it is obvious that the only himself is tired. The only himself is exhausted of what these women are putting up. The only himself is, is already drained his energy is gone. Hmm. But his wife doesn't know that. They don't know that at all. What they know is that we wake up today, we fight, we eat, we sleep, we wake up the next day, and we continue from where we stopped. That is what his wife knows. But now the eldest man in Elif have spoken, and the man have categorically said things that ought to be listened to. Hmm. Yes.